stop, Norman's amazing elevating orb. Stick the landing.
I want to discover at the bottom of the room. The utter nerve! That... that charred piece of... charcoal! Oh, it's you. What's going on? It seems this Porgoth's managed to blast open the tunnel we used to arrive here. One we left in perfect condition, by the way, unlike his sloppy crew. And now, he wants to charge me for any supplies passing through. <laughs> I knew he'd be trouble the minute I heard he set up that, that measly little camp. <sighs> anyway, you need something, I assume? You're done. Good. I can get back to figuring out how to keep Korgov's slimy hands off our hard-earned shards. So, if we're seeing only oh. a part of it... Beneath the ruins What's by your yourself. For the I keep Not hearing bad. about people riding machines around here. Not sure what Whoa. they want or where they're from. Now. I'm not going to believe this uh, great line. He's really oh, hi. He's about as much use as a glass animal. It's not me who put him in charge. You ride machines, no, right? No, no, we all know who no, no, that. Not the only one. Have you seen those two? Okay, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. How deep do these rules go? The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith. Keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. Huh. You know, some delvers tapped a ruin north of here recently and said they saw a trinket like this one, beyond their reach. Might have been another one of these ornaments. That's worth looking into. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does every feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, the Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. It might be able to turn on the lights. Hmm. 
some time to find out. Which one should I try first? I want to see this one. And so the wordsmith set out to bring new light to the ruins above. Ah, this must have been the feast of the crescent moon. But they couldn't have celebrated every crescent moon, could they? By the forge, that'd be a lot of feasts. Let me know if you find any more of those ornaments. You wonder what other holidays the old ones celebrated. Even if they weren't, there's not much to be gained from them. Some highly skilled craftsmen living still don't know what these embers are. Giving up the land is sure our people. There's gotta be something. Let it! I could never hope to get from anyone who knows lies out there. Pops, of course. <laughs> What'd you think? Wicker breast was for the smug look on your face. Quit wasting the fear. If you're feeling bold, there's a Tanakh outpost in your life. It's the rebel kind. You won't get these wares in Norlands. <laughs> Looking sharp as ever. So she entered once more, our heroine, whom all adore. So, did you want to make some changes around here? This one seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. This is stranger than a spark in a puddle. What kind of festival celebrates bats? By the forge during the party, what did they feast on? I don't know how much more I can take with what's lawlessness. You can ride machines, right? Apparently, you're not the only one. But you probably knew that. Those lights will be a welcome addition to Marlin's show. And obvious too. Maybe. Oh, yeah. We could sling explosives at the machines. But what if we miss? We'd have a lot of collateral damage. Yeah, scratch that. Just the person I wanted to see. Please feel free to look around. We can talk after you're done. So, these gizmos Stemmer found. The ones that add light and color to the ruins? He said there's more of them? If I can find them. Oh, this is splendid. The more the sky glows, the more visitors will draw in. Unless the Tanakh see them first. Huh, maybe, uh... Oh. I'll reserve some shards for contingency defenses. <laughs> Not again. 
back east. the troop this remedies to train if you're feeling bold there's a Tanakh outpost nearby Sister! the rebel Over kind here. you're back did you get it do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? that? Nah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, let me give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed, we're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violence and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Nah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. With simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim. Ah ha ha Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> This feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What is that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh, <laughs> that's just a small setback. Nothing to... Worry about! They can fix this! They can fix this! I can... Uh, Rising right, bastards! And it's gonna hit us! 
shoe! Morland. He's in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. I'm stuck on the other side. Gotta clear out these machines. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland! I'll get you out! Aloy! Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? If this is payback for a suboptimal flight, I have accepted your feedback, and I thank you for it. Now please, get this thing off me! Hey, you alright? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram Aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Definitely find a use for Do this. you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Would you mind finding a way across? All we need is something to bridge the gap. I think I found us a bridge. Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. It's gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Could hit it with acid.
Aloy, uh, over here, when you have a moment. Steel to my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me, or really fancied my orb. Found it. <laughs> ah, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Mom.
I'll fill up while I can. Today couldn't special, get worse, isn't he? Yet here if we are. If by special you mean clear, then yes. He keeps narrating everything like a historian. That's her. It has a ring to kill the bristlebacks. Makes me feel like I'm some kind of epic adventure. <laughs> you? you Adventurous? So Notice machine riders earlier. They Negligent seem of the like fact they were that his traveling companion was impervious I don't to such quips. This isn't going to be a thing. It because I will abandon you in the middle of the desert. You won't get beadwares in Noraland. Okay, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around. Pretty sure there's a rebel out there. Let's go. Eyes peeled. Just as these buildings are the tip of whatever's under all that sand. So, if we're seeing only a part of it, how high can old ones build for fortune's sake? I'm more interested in how they manage it. The old wordsmith's heart warmed as a friend returned. Lots of bats still fluttering about. One scared Abaddon so bad, he almost chucked his shards. So, what can I do for you? Let's go with this one. I'll get right to it. Beneath the cascade of golden leaves, the old wordsmith found himself reflecting inwards, a meditation of the mind, and a calming of the spirit. I wouldn't trust him to piss in a straight line. Oi! Miss! Thank you. 
Those lights will be a welcome addition to Marlin's shows. And Hobbiton's ticket prices. <laughs> Hey!